Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Extended Forms add-on with Google Forms for recruitment. You would first need to go to extendedforms.io and there you can either sign up or sign in if you already have an account. And I'm going to sign in with Google, but you can use any of the other methods. I'll just quickly select my Google account. And OK, we are on the Extended Forms dashboard. So here we can see Connected Forms total responses and average response times. These are at zero right now, but we'll get back to this. Let's open Google Forms and I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus icon to create a new form. OK, so now we are going to give our form a title and this should be meaningful. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call this recruitment. So once you have added your title, you can go ahead and add your questions. Um, I'm only going to add one question just to keep this entire tutorial simple. So let's say something like, why do you want to work at our company? Okay. And this question requires a long answer response. And thankfully it's already set up. If you need to add more questions, you can go ahead and do so. Um, but right now we are going to configure the extended forms add on. Let's move to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on these three dots and let's click on add ons. OK, now we can head to the search box and type in extended forms. We can already see that it's the first result. So let's click it and let's select the first option. We can see that it's from Express Tech. Let's click on the install button and click on continue. I'm going to log in with my Google account. Let's scroll down and click on allow. OK, let's wait for it to be installed and click on next once it's done. Click on done and we are done. So let's go ahead and close this window. Now you'll notice that we have a new icon in the header. Let's click on it. It's the add-ons icon. Click on extended forms. Click on configure. And we should see the add-on pop up in the bottom right hand corner of our screen. Let's turn it on. And we have an error prompt because our forms default settings are clashing with the add-ons recommended settings. So just go ahead and click on fix settings. So we have solved the issue and we have our success notification on the bottom. And if we take a look on the left hand side, we should see an extended forms ID field. Skip this field. Don't even touch it. You should not edit or delete it. And let's move back to the add on on the right hand side to explore some settings. The first option lets you share your form link. You can access this drop down menu to select a method. The next option lets you enable or disable the time limit for the quiz. You can adjust the time limit below by default, it's set to one, but you can always increase it. The next option lets you restrict the number of times somebody can attempt to fill out the form. It's set to one time by default, but you can always change this. You also have the option to automatically submit the form after the timer ends. This will only work if the timer is enabled. And this feature can be turned on or off according to your needs. So once you're done configuring your settings, you can go ahead and click on the save button. Now that we have updated our settings, we can go ahead and click on the preview button. OK, so here is a preview of our form. We can see our time limit, which is three minutes. And if you want to access the form, just click on this get started button. Now let's go back to our Google form tab. All right. So if we want to share this form with somebody, we can go ahead and click on the share link icon. Once you click the icon, the form link will be copied automatically. So I'm going to go to a new tab and paste this link. So somebody filling out the form would have to log in first. Now I'm going to close this window so that we can go back to our preview where we can actually fill out the form. So once we click on the get started button, we should see the form with the timer. And now I'm going to provide an answer for this question. So the question is, why do you want to work at our company? So I will go ahead and provide a simple answer. Let's say I love the culture. Yes. So the answer is I love the culture and I'm going to click on the submit button. OK, so after submitting the form, I'm going to go back to the Google form window. Now let's go to the add on and click on responses. So we can see our recruitment forms response information. We can see our settings. We have one attempt, a three minute timer, and we have the date as June 7th. We have the email address and completion information. Let's view the response. And this is our response. I love the culture. Let's close this window. If you want to stop accepting responses, you can go ahead and toggle this switch. Let's click on OK. 
and now we can turn it back on. You can also send an invitation, preview the form, and share it using these icons. You also have the option to shorten your form link before sharing, but you would have to upgrade your subscription first. Now, as promised, we are going to go back to the dashboard, and here we can see some information about our form activity. Alright, so I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching.